Lance, one of the first things I noticed coming into Executive Group was that this entire operation here on this floor only has one forklift. And I think yeah. that's due to the system that's right in back of us. Yeah, 100%. So, I mean, the storage system for that reason has been actually fantastic to us. Again, this is an old big concrete building. It's got concrete columns everywhere. Right. They're spaced out about 20 foot by 20 foot. Yeah. So material placement, material handling, moving bunks of material around, stacking them. It was a struggle for us until we resolved that problem with the storage system here. So these storage systems are absolutely terrific. They keep track of inventory, they optimize panel inventory, but they also load your machines, which we'll get into that in a minute. But keeping track of inventory, I see it's actually putting a bunk of material in uh, your array right now. These bunks, there's a lot of optimization that happens. They can be just three inches away from one another. They can be stacked, I think oh, about- Six foot tall. Yeah, yeah, six foot tall, which is great. Really optimize your space that way. And you don't have any racks taking up space, Yeah. right? Which is a huge benefit. But also, you know, one thing that I like to ask people who use a storage system, in addition to all these benefits that you kind of get with optimizing your storage, you know, there's some hidden benefits. There's some hidden gems in this too. So I'm wondering if you could share kind of like, what are some what are some benefits that aren't always apparent with a storage system? Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, other than the obvious, keeping everything nice and tight together. Right. I mean, we can store approximately four to 5,000 sheet goods, depending on the size of the panels. Right. You know, we have the ability to store anything as small as two foot wide and four foot long to seven foot wide and 12 foot long. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is, it's been a game changer for our business. Mm -hmm. I think one of my favorite things the machine does yeah. is on the procurement side. Oh yeah. Right, so when we go to do a work order, a job, right. do we have the material or not? And we know this with an immediate report. There's wow. no right. sending a guy down, a project manager. Not everyone can tell the difference between, let's say, plain saw and white oak and plain saw and at White Ash, right? They look very similar. Absolutely. So we have a lot of inventory where we're going on. If you know, look behind us, it's, it's measuring and weighing the product as well. Right. So that helps to mitigate human error. You know, one of my favorites is the machine will also learn what you use the most and then place that material closer to the machines that it loads. So it's kind of learning your process as you're producing goods and then it doesn't take as long to load your machines because it knows popular uh, material versus more custom material. Yeah. So I'll let's talk about like the actual machines that load. So what do you guys use this to load in your shop? So we have this loading, a uh, we call it that dynamically loading, right? The beam right. saw. So yeah. we have the ability to not only be loading, but cutting a sheet at the same time. Yes. So the yes. operators almost never Waiting, waiting on the machine. Yep, sure. The machines are waiting on the operator. Absolutely. And of course, we have it being, uh, loading a dynastic TNC flat table nested router. Storage systems like this can also rainbow stack. So you can have various types of sheets within the bunk and it knows exactly where they are. That's correct. We have probably, I think, around 250 different SKUs, if you will. Wow. With just different size panels, different finishes on panels, yeah. and, and different thicknesses of panels all in the system but we don't have 250 placements, right? So yeah, so that <laughs> sure, rainbow stacking is extremely important. And uh, yeah, to your point, I mean, yeah, the, the operator is, uh, you know, it's keeping them busy. And you can see behind us, we don't have someone supervising this, what's well, moving this material load. onto it, right? That's so right, that's right. Set the bunk, let it load, it can offload. We have two inbound outbound bays, so we can be taking material out. If this it's is for great, right? Custom architectural guys, where yep. it's not going to the machines. Yep. Or and we can be loading material in and be loading two different machines at the same time. So it's yeah, it's, it's been it's been a true game changer for our business. That's great. So yeah, so this is a great application of the Holzer Stormaster loading two machines, both a a router and a beam saw. Thanks, Lance. Yeah, thank you.